<clears throat> Alright, so I figured I'd do another room tour for August of 2014. I know my room's not the neatest or the prettiest, but uh, it's what I like, so yeah, live with it. Let's go ahead and start off right here. We have my 50, uh, 40 inch, well, I don't remember, I think it's a 40 inch LG TV. Has my Chromecast hooked up to it. It's a great TV. You can see right there. And, uh, over here, we had my shelf of computers, but my shelves collapsed a few weeks ago and sent some computers flying down the stairs, and including my gaming computer, so I don't use it anymore. And it killed my computer, so yeah, that monitors and anything that's really left up there. Some cables. Most of it migrated over. There's my printer. But most of it migrated over to this table. <clears throat> There's a monitor I found at the dump that I have yet to test, so I want to do that after this video. Another monitor, monitor, Xbox, original Xbox with a heat sink on top of it. There we go. And two uh, scrap Toshiba laptops that all also came from the dump. <clears throat> Side panel for my gaming computer. Dell desktop sitting in a chair. Don't use it right now. I'm not using it right now, so yeah. Box of junk, table of junk, another box of junk. My bed, <clears throat> school backpack. Solar Public Tracks Air. No, oh yeah, Solar Public Tracks Oh, I'm stupid. Master Tracks. Composition Notebook. My Lenovo X200 tablet computer. Love that thing. Here's my remote and for the TV and the bed and my flashlight. Some Pergo for the floor, which I never use. Lamp with some more Solar Republics on it. Another scrap laptop. My gaming desktop. I've been working on it. There's another desktop on there underneath it. It's just an old Pentium 4 system, so not worth mentioning. <clears throat> Some cables back there. Then here's the interesting part. My desk setup. Sorry, there we go. I'll quit bitching. There we go. Oh, let me go ahead and show my chair. It's just some chair from Staples. I'm not sure what it's called or anything, but yeah. Here is my gaming console. This is an Xbox 360 with a 20 gig hard drive and a 32 gig USB. And then this is a computer I'm fixing up to uh, for a client. So yeah, it's an Octoplex 360 with a Pentium Dual Core 2.5. <clears throat> Sorry, and a two, 4 gigs of RAM and a 320 gig hard drive. So yeah, Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. Over here, there's a lock, a mouse, Dover Ducey. Um Xbox. Uh, remote and headset and headphones. Uh, Leopard Mac OS 10 Leopard's uh, book. Um, here's my Inspiron N14. In oh, hold on. Inspiron N1440. In it's not being used right now. It's got a Core i7 2.8 quad core. And then there's um, iPod Nano first gen right here and its accessories. Um, USB hub, which is currently only charging my Galaxy. So. Yeah, and then my iPod Touch, 4th gen, with cracked screen, 32 gig, don't care. Um, iPod Shuffle, 1st gen. My uh, Samsung SyncMaster 2233 monitor. Put my Windows stickers on it. So yeah, and then here's my main computer. My mid-2012 MacBook Pro, non-retina. It has a... Oh crap, sorry. It is a um, <clears throat> 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i5, 8, gigs, 8 gigabytes of 1333 DDR3 RAM, and a 500 gig uh, hard drive. So yeah, there's my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe to me. So yeah, and then over here, there's, oh, let's zoom out. Whoopsies. My Dell. Vostro, which is really fanning out some air for some reason. My Dell Vostro 1510, which I bought for $70 on Craigslist. has a Core 2 Duo, which I've put a Core i5 sticker on it just because. It's actually a Core 2 Duo. You know, I can go ahead and show you. I need to let it update some more. Uh, 
has a 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo with 4 gigs of RAM. 64 bit Windows, ooh, sorry about that. Windows 7 Home Premium, 64 bit. Haha, <laughs> not available. Can't see my product ID. So, um, this is a fairly small hard drive. I mean, 112 gig, 120 gig. So, I mean, eh, good enough for me. But yeah, alright, let's go ahead and go start going through my desk. This is a room tour and a desk tour, I've decided. So in here, we have my watch, my Autobox armor case for my Galaxy S3, cleaning, cleaning kit, it's all my uh, screen cleaner and stuff. My, some business cards for me, there you go. There we go. A uh, lighter. I don't really know why that's in here, but it is. Um, uh, unboxing knife. Some Motrin for headaches and stuff. Bunch of sticky notes. Some of those. A laser pointer. And a uh, dice. Pencil, batteries, marker, Allen wrench, mini screwdriver, just junk that I use often. If we move over here to the right, we have my software and tools drawer. There's some screws and a tape measure, some Windows disks and software, and blank disks, cable, my screwdriver set, and just stuff like that. If we go to the middle drawer, which is my laptop drawer, we have three more laptops. Dell Dell Asus. This is an Inspiron 15 piece of crap. Found it. This is a dump. It works perfectly. Got this from a kid at school. It's a Dell Latitude XT series. Has a uh, Core 2 Duo. Has um, a touch screen that's broken. So, but the touch, the, only the touch is broken. So it's usable as a laptop, just not a touch screen laptop. And then my Asus netbook that I paid $35 for. So, yeah. Works perfect. Box remote wired for PC gaming. Some cable managers. A vintage lock. Charger for the Asus. And a light bulb. And a hard drive caddy. If you go down to the bottom drawer, we just have more chunk with mostly iPods and iPod cables and keys right here. Chunk. If we go over here to the left. Let me move this out of the way. We have just a big drawer of computer parts and more junk. So, yeah. And then this down here has my chargers and stuff like that in it. So, yeah. There's a trash can and a computer uh, case and a side panel. It'll fit that, but I didn't. I don't have it on that. So, um, yeah, that's, um, really about it. So, yeah, that'll be it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.